My name is Lynette Johnson. I live here in Sammamish. My mother's name is Pauline Shoemaker. Growing up in my household with my mom, she was one of the pioneers probably of not being a stay-at-home mom. She had her business in front of the home. She was a hairdresser for over 30 years. My parents continued to stay in Spokane. It was after I was married and had our first child that they ended up moving here. My father wasn't real pleased, but as he said, he was outvoted. But at the same time, he was concerned that somebody else would take care of his first and only grandchild. So he made it a point to say, okay, I will buck up. My father uh, was ill for a very long time, almost 10 years. And at the time of his death, my husband wanted my mother to live with us. We were helping them financially. So we made the decision and mom moved in with us uh, two months after my father passed. And she lived with us for nearly 20 years before she uh, moved here as a resident of Marionwood. And she made everything work all the time. The changes I saw were real slight and looking back, hindsight's 2020. I now realize that she probably was in the first stages of dementia about five years before diagnosis. A fall, um, not acting herself, just little things, but then they would quickly pass. The challenges I faced were um, her walking out in the middle of the night, uh, uh, not getting out of bed. My mother was an early riser. Uh, she loved working crossword puzzles. That was went away. Uh, she, she, she wouldn't eat. Um, she became incontinent. Uh, she wasn't taking care of herself. My mother was the quintessential lady, and all of a sudden, her uh, way of taking care of herself diminished. We needed to find a safe, loving environment for mother. But where do you start looking? 105 phone calls and emails later, um, and still nothing. We were on lists, and I wanted her close to home. But the, in, the straw that broke the camel's back was her walking out of the house in the middle of the day with us there. So we made the decision we had to move quickly. And the person here named Kathy was my angel. I called and I said, we're in crises. And she immediately said, as soon as you can get down here, get me everything I need. And I did. And a week later, we were admitting mother to Marionwood. I am happy that she's here. And it is a community. These residents and the staff watch over her and they take such marvelous care of her and they care for one another that is the biggest thing that i've seen they care for these people this isn't a job they really truly care what drives me is um, being able to have that connection and really getting them to see from start to finish um, getting them home safely. 95% of our um, admissions to the transitional care unit, um, we are able to get back to the community. And that is because of the commitment of the physical therapist, the occupational therapist, and the speech therapist. Physical therapy is important because they work with mobility, whether it's transitioning somebody from a bed to a wheelchair or getting that person walking and um, propelling themselves forward. Occupational therapy is extremely important as well. They deal with feeding, dressing, bathing, toileting, toilet transfers, and making sure that that patient is safe for um, working in the kitchen um, and making sure that they can take care of themselves on a daily basis. And speech therapy is very close to my heart because I'm a speech language pathologist. And we work with swallowing, cognition, reading, writing, um, talking, listening, understanding, and so all of those things put together helps make that person and that patient whole again and ready to return to the community. 
at Providence Marionwood, we cater to vast generations from, you know, we had 18 year olds here um, that needed rehabilitation. And so it w it's just great now that we have um, an activities supervisor director that really does activities to integrate generations. So we have to find something that would connect younger generations and older generations. And one of them is yoga. It amazes me how it little movement helps them feel good. Mom likes Marionwood. I don't know if she could articulate it now, but at the time she became very social. She wasn't the social butterfly, but there were people here her own age there were activities that she could participate in. She could have three meals a day, four meals a day. She could get whatever she needed or wanted. It wasn't a regimented thing. They made sure that they watched after her, but I think she was watching after them.